cutting in right now and I think I should, I figured I'd be short about 150 square feet, but I don't think I'm gonna be short. It's looking like we should be good. I mean, it looks so nice. It looks like a fancy house. And you can feel it's, a, it's way warmer down here. And then next up, we'll uh, talk about the radiant. So let's uh, finish up cutting all of this and we'll get into the radiant system. Last box, we're in good shape and we have all of this left over if we need to use it. It looks brighter in here. I guess it feels warmer in here, especially with this heat on it. I guess it's retaining the heat. We have a big hole right there, but I have, next step we're gonna go to lunch. And then when we get back from lunch, we're gonna throw this text in. I have a diagram. I went with Radiant Tech. I'll put up the link in the description. The reason why I did that is because I'll get into the manifolds. I can check for pressure. I can pressurize them with the air. I don't have to worry about if we get a leak during concrete install or when we're laying it, I'll find the leak right away. So that's why I went with them and that's basically it. So I have a nice cat design where, because this is a funky, I have all these walls and corners and I got all these separate rooms that we'll get into and I needed a cat design for help. So that's why I went with them. So let's go to lunch, let this pack speed up a little bit and then we'll start running packs. Gotta love this weather. It's snowing, but that's not going to stop us from putting this pex down. I have the heaters on all those pecs. It's a lot of pecs. Each roll is 300 square feet. And again, I got this through Radiant Tech. And I want to show you why I got it through Radiant Tech. Do you see this manifold right here? You see that little nipple? And you see it's already pre, it's already set up for me. All I have to do is hook up all the pecs. So that's all the zones. I'll show you a picture now of the whole CAD design. So this is for the big one. This, this manifold's for the main area. So that's, we're gonna do that one probably second. The one we're gonna work on now is for, for, it's gonna be the movie theater room and then like the general area where the stairs is. So that manifold's gonna go right over here. And I think that manifold is this one here. We're gonna take it all apart now we'll, and we'll take a look at it. Look how beautiful this is. So this is gonna be placed basically somewhere against the wall, but one, two, three, four. So you have four inlets and four outlets. Right here is your pressure. Oh, you can actually hear the pressure coming out. That is pretty cool. This is a little release valve for a bleeder. And then when you're done and you wanna hook up to your boiler, you just cut the copper right here and here, and then you hook it up. I think it was totally worth it to spend some money on this. I'll get into how much this cost. I don't even remember now. It's been like six weeks since I ordered it. But this is the smaller manifold. This is probably gonna go, because that's the bigger manifold. That's gonna go right here. And we're gonna come in just like that with the four zones. So I'll leave this right here and we'll start uh, We'll start running PEX. It's a little cold out, so the PEX is being a little, not being friendly, so we got some of Pressure, we'll get scrap pressure treated wood. And the nubbins, let's, let's take a look at the nubbins. Come down here. They, I mean, they're breaking. I don't know because it's also because it's cold, but every other nubbin is breaking. They'll hold down the pecs. It's just kind of not, it's brittle. And then when we walk on it, we're flattening out the actual piece of, the hydroform is getting a little beat up. I hope I didn't waste money on this. Gavin down the block that didn't even said he liked it. I think it's gonna work. I just think it's kind of cold and the PEX just needs to be a little bit warmed up. We have the heaters on it, but we did the first row over here. And we're gonna cut the pipe over there right now. And hopefully the cab design works. So let's keep on trucking with this.
morning everyone. We're one and a half days in on doing this whole PEX with the hydro foam system. So we probably have another full day putting down the rest of the main area. It's seven total runs with one more manifold. Then we got a little guy wall that PEX. We'll do that one last, but it's looking really good. I talked to my plumber buddy and we're gonna get into how I'm gonna do the system because we have about 70,000 BTUs downstairs in the basement. We're gonna have another 70,000 upstairs. And then we have the garages and then all the bathrooms are separated. So after we're doing this video, we'll get into how I'm gonna hook up all of this plumbing. It's a lot of plumbing. And I'll try to get into detail as much as I can. So let me stop talking. It's really chilly, it's snowing outside. It's like 29 degrees and the PEX is gonna be cold to try to heat it up right now. So let's start working on finishing up the PEX. It's warm here. Three rolls down, four to go. The whole, uh, I don't know what that area is gonna be, is done. Bathroom is basically done. I think one more roll will make it work. And then we're, the manifold will be right there. So three down, seven to go. Just a boy living a dream. because we ran out of our little generator, but as you can see right here, we hooked up all the manifolds and we pressure tested them. I'm at 50 PSI. This four manifolds good. I have a one manifold that's good. We're almost done. We got probably another hour to finish up testing it. Tomorrow, concrete guys are coming to start prepping. So first thing tomorrow morning, we'll start. We'll finish that up. We're two and a half days in on this PEX install, including installing the manifolds. We'll finish this up tomorrow and we'll recap how uh, we install all this. Stuff. 